I finally fixed my game with this one line of code. Hi everyone, my name is Tom and I'm working on New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. It's a game where you get to serve your customers on the Brooklyn Bridge with your food shops. Build the shops, serve customers. You will also need to take care of resources. You can buy ingredients on the market or build factories and produce them yourself. Your goal is to monopolize the bridge and get rid of the competition. This week was pretty productive. I updated the authentication manager to have a small symbol to show whether the client was able to sign in or not. I added some logic to my multiplayer system to handle an unexpected client disconnection. So now if a client disconnects unexpectedly, it will treat them as the client abandoned the game. For later, I want to add the option to the host to decide what to do with the player. So for example, when a player disconnects, I want the game to pause and the host to get a message where it asks do you want this player to be treated as abandoned, close down or take over AI. Basically the same options I would give the normal player. Also this week I implemented the bootstrap design. In my previous devlog I talked about having this huge bug in my game where if a client enters a single player, quits and tries to host a game or join a different game, this client will experience some weird behavior where certain things don't work. I've been struggling with this bug for a few weeks now and the bootstrap was my solution. This is basically a way to separate between the online logic and the offline logic. After implementing it, it did not work. I still got the same bug. I couldn't figure it out. I was ready to give up until I started to go line by line and debug my code even closer. Then I realized what was the problem and it smacked me in the face. Oh my god! It was such a stupid problem that I got stuck on for weeks. Here's what happened. When the client is in a single player mode and they press escape, the game pauses. The way I'm pausing the game is about setting the speed of the game to zero. This is a very common way of pausing the game in Unity. The problem was that after leaving the game and starting a new one or joining a new game, I never reset the speed of the game. Since that moment, the speed of the game was always zero. That's why certain animations, certain movements did not work. So, by adding this one line of code and resetting the speed of the game to 1, I solved the bug that was bothering me for weeks. Because I really like the idea behind this design of separating between the online and offline logic, I decided to keep the bootstrap design and I finished it and hopefully within a week or two I'll be able to make a stable build and start playtesting the game. So for the next week or two, the plan is to work on balancing the game making a stable build and working on some UI changes and maybe other visual changes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please wishlist New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam, that really helps me. And I'll see you next time.